Hi, I'm Bet from Bet's Makes, and this is going to be a very short lesson on slicing made easy. I'm going to give you a couple of tips and tricks on using slicing, and then you're going to be able to get into your own project. So let's move over and open up a new project in Design Space. So you've opened up a new project, and all we're going to do here is we're going to add some shapes to the screen, change their color, and the other thing we're going to do is we're going to make another object with those shapes in order to make something entirely different. This is a really easy process and this is just how you're going to be able to do it. Now you can use your own imagination and get going from there. So I'm going to start by just adding a couple of shapes here. I'm going to have a nice circle and perhaps one more shape. I might just uh, pick on a star. Now I don't love the black, so I'm going to change my star to yellow or gold. So you just come up here to the line type and just pick your color. Put it over to the side. Same with the circle. I'm just dragging it around. Let's make it a different color and we'll maybe make it a light yellow. And that's just so we have the difference. Now we have two shapes. What we want to do now is I want to take this particular shape and I want to make some sliced moons, different phases of the moon. So the first thing I want to do is I want to duplicate this. You just come up here and click on the duplicate button. I'm going to take this over here. I'm going to make it a slightly different color so that we can see it at all times. I'll add a little orange to it so we can see it. And then I'm going to come back up here and duplicate it one more time and I'm going to put it off to the side so this is my master copy. Now what I want to do is have a nice little sliver of a moon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my duplicate and I am going to move it over top so I get that nice sliver. Now the thing is sometimes it doesn't look at lines up properly. So what I'm going to do is just highlight both just like this. I'm going to come up to the toolbar and click on a line. And what I want them to do is align up and down. So you can see a center vertically right here. And you see how it moved a little bit? That means I'm now in the perfect position. Now when you're using slice, you can only do it for two objects at a time. So I have one on top and one below. I am going to highlight both of them now that they're aligned the way I want. I've got a nice thin little slice that I can have for the moon. I'm going to come down here below the layers panel and I'm going to click on slice. Now look what happened. I've got a couple of slices. I got them sliced out of the middle, sliced out of the side. So I have a moon facing this way. I have a little funny shape here and I have another moon facing the other way. Now isn't that fun? Because now what I can do, I can make a different shape altogether. I could probably put these two together and I can align those. Remember I'm aligning them vertically. Looks pretty good. Now both are already selected. I'm going to come back down here to slice. And now I have a thicker moon. So now I have four phases of the moon. One, two, three, four. They're going in and out. Now I don't necessarily like these ones. They have more of a squarish edge. So what I really want to do here is I'm going to take my master. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to bring it over. And then I'm going to duplicate it one more time. And I want a bigger phase of the moon. Now I'm just going to change the color here again a little bit so that we can really see it. I'll give it a darker orange. Now I might want to have a bigger slice. Might look better this way, but I still have to align these up and down. So back to the align. Center vertically. Looks pretty good. Come down and slice. So now I have my other phases that look a lot different now. And you see it doesn't have the squarish end. So it's always best to come back 
and you can slice this out. Can you imagine this in a design of your own? So now you have other shapes you can work with. Now we're going to do one more thing with slicing and I'm going to duplicate my master here again. I'm going to bring it over here. I'm going to push this star over here as a master. I'm going to now shrink it because I want it to fit inside. Now you'll notice that the square is in behind. Now when that happens to you, that means it's behind. Come over here to arrange. Click on the arrange and move it to the front and the star will be at the front. And that looks pretty good for the right size. I'll just move it back over here. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to bring it over here. I am going to highlight both pieces. This time when I align them, I'm going to do it horizontally and I'm going to do it vertically. So now they're perfectly aligned up and down and sideways. I'm going to select them both and I am going to slice. Now I have my star, I have a couple of them, and I have a star on the inside. Now I'm just going to show this to you one more time. I'm going to duplicate my circle. I'm going to come over here, but this time what I want to do is I want to make this star a lot smaller. And it comes in behind, so I'm going to come here to arrange, and I'm going to move it to the front. Now I can see it. So now from here, I always like to take a copy and move it off to the side so I know what I have. Let's just move this up over here so I have my copy. Now I'm also going to duplicate this again. And what I want to do is just have a several stars. So I'm going to duplicate it several times. Three, maybe one more here and I'll duplicate that again one more now you're saying but you can only use two items and you've got five sitting on the front here well I'm just going to arrange them the way I want them and I'm going to show you a little trick with slicing now I have all of these stars on here I'm going to hold my shift key down and I'm going to click on the other stars and I'm going to make them one item. And I can do that by coming down here and clicking on Weld. And you'll look up here in your Layers panel, you'll see it as one cut item. I can move that where I want it. Once again, I'll highlight both and click on Slice. Now they come out as a group. As you can see, I have the five stars now all cut out of one piece. And that is how you slice. So I really hope you enjoyed working on this. And until next time,